Prophetess Debile, 7750 Media. My phone is on 69%. How awesome is the God I serve? The first question I posed when I engaged with Tabumbeki's Freedom of Emma Swati dialogue was, does God want democracy in Eswatini? So let me be the devil's advocate in the Garden of Eden, if you like. Did God really say? Tawambeki has committed to intervene in the kingdom of Eswatini politics. The burning issue that was being raised, because I don't want to make it seem like the Lord Jesus will shove things under the carpet. God did not do that, even for King David. The first question that was raised was about two MPs that are in jail, allegedly sentenced to 68 years imprisonment because they have asked for political reforms in Eswatini. The second question is that a prominent human rights lawyer who was murdered last year and this case has not been solved. These questions were raised by Kobega Zikumalo, I hope I heard her name correctly, from an organization called Swazi Lives Matter Global Solidarity Movement. I've said it many times before, and I'm going to repeat what I've said. I am not a political activist or a political commentator. I'm just a prophet of the Most High God. And he has given me a vision for a media and publishing house. For 14 years since 2010, I have been living a life of being terrorized, spied on, having every move I make being watched. My parents in Swaziland being threatened with the supremacy of medical practice and the fraternity thereof and their prowess in treating the mentally retarded. These threats, intimidations, harassments, and even murder plots against my person have been continuously done. First, being leveled at my parents and are being done by the first family of the Kennedy kind who are from a constitutional monarchy and democracy in their own country, where the previous king, counterpart of King Sobuza II, is reported to have been a king in pursuit of democracy when he was in exile overseas. Evidently though, once he was back in his own country on the democratic throne, as according to the ideals of the constitution pardon me, as according to the ideals of the constitutional democracy, it would seem that this ideal no longer suited his personal agenda. Perhaps if these methods of abuse of authority over my person were being perpetrated by these doctors in their own native country, where clearly the monarchical democracy is for them and their elite club, I'd get it. I am being subjected to systematic narcissistic bullying and abuse by a people of an establishment of another country here in the America of the African continent, the land of the free. How does that even work? I am so bullied that I've even been told that I'm going to be effed up over the publication and dissemination of 
sex diary material that was done by the Brotherhood and its kit of kith and kin. And this has been going on for some 14 years. I will keep repeating. Isaiah 54 verse 14 in the NIV says, Tyranny will be far from you. You will have nothing to fear. Terror will be far removed. It will not come near you. But even in September last year, on the 27th to be exact, I was threatened with grievous and severe consequences, apparently for my latest social media rants. But I will say this, in 2010, I did not mention divorce from the marriage. So the threats went to my parents who understood that I would suffer death by poison if I did not take heed and watch myself. From 2013 onwards, when I did mention divorce because of dalliances of a political and triangular nature, the threats were now not just being made to my parents, but to my family, siblings, and over the years, friends and relatives and cousins and all sorts have been pulled into the scheme. And this carried on through 2015, 2018, 2019, 2021, 22, 23, and even 2024. But still no divorce in sight. I made it clear, though, that the triple eight signature of the Lord Jesus would be on my divorce because anything outside his will will be the death of me. So then what has Tabombeki got to do with my marriage? Clearly, plenty, because as I already described when I read out the dream I had of him on the 29th of December, 2013, there is a problem with the interplay of religion, politics, sports, and other topics connected therewith. This is not even about Tabombeki per se, but it is about the Lord Jesus and the reason that he has chosen me for this ministry, that the first family of the Kennedy kind, that being the political dynasty of the kingdom of Lesotho, have tried to steal, kill, and destroy with their most venerated, worshipful idol and trade, the fraternity of Freemason doctors, members of deadly cults and secret societies of the world system that murder people in order to suppress information. I don't think that the lion of the tribe of Judah is about to allow solutions crafted from the belly of hell in the kingdom of Eswatini. When God wants to use a people, he will of course begin by exposing their flaws moral failings, weaknesses, and the like, which he has been doing through various mechanisms, including the opposition, democratic movements, riots, pro um, protests, and the like. By all accounts, the kingdom has been shaken. And let me make this also very clear. God is not a man. So when he says that he is going to use the kingdom of Eswatini, its king and its people, he means exactly that. That doesn't mean that I need to go there to do anything. It just means I have to carry on speaking his word because he says that he watches his word to perform it. That means I don't have to perform anything. I just have to speak his word. And he will so perform it. Because that is what prophecy and the prophetic office are about. And in the interest of time, I am going to leave this here now. Thanks for listening.